it might seem like a serene patch of land along a countryside highway. But to many in the small Texas town of Farmersville, something sinister is growing here. We used to grow a lot of onions here. We sure enough don't want to be growing bodies. The bodies he's referring to are the plans by the Islamic Association of Collin County to turn this 34-acre space into a Muslim cemetery. And the news set off a public backlash. Farmersville is about 25 miles away from Garland, Texas, where in May, police killed two Muslim gunmen who tried to carry out a deadly attack at a Draw the Prophet Muhammad event. One resident in Farmersville has even suggested using pigs to scare away the Muslim group. Take and dump pig's blood and pig heads on the float. They won't buy the land. A hundred people turned out to a city meeting to voice opposition to the plan. This is not a money maker for the city of Farmersville. So regardless of whether you like Muslims or not, it doesn't conform. We're dealing with hate. Khalil Abdul Rashid is part of the Muslim group organizing the cemetery project. He's shocked by the reaction of many residents. He says the cemetery is funded by five different mosques in the area that needed a cemetery closer to their homes. He says the closest cemetery is more than an hour drive away. The need to uh, provide a, a resting place for your loved one is, is a fundamental human need. I didn't, we didn't think that there would be this much backlash over just a cemetery. I believe I'm a watchman on the wall, Ezekiel 33. See the incoming danger. David Meeks is the pastor of Bethlehem Baptist Church, which ironically sits next to a cemetery. He says the cemetery could bring radical Islam to Farmersville. I see the expansion of Islam that's going on all over the world. Now it's come to my hometown. And you see that danger in a cemetery? Anytime you see the Islamic folks coming into a neighborhood, I think, in my opinion, I think you can say we could be less safe in the future than we are right now. Abdur Rashid says the mosques organizing the cemetery have received vile threats, and Farmersville city officials are also receiving threats from angry residents. I had myself personally entertained the idea that maybe we should not do this. Maybe we should pull up, uh, we should we should pull out. But then we, but then uh, that would not have solved the problem either. That would have given in to hate. For now, there's nothing peaceful or serene about this future resting place.